let me uh, quickly review the whole process, right? We begin with this equation here, right? And um, we're trying to figure out the probability y equal to one. And then uh, y equal to one is equivalent of y star greater than zero. Then because of assumption, uh, uh, the structural model that y star is equal to x beta plus uh, the epsilon, we replace y star with that equation. Then going through all the derivation, we get this term. Voila, and this is uh, an equation, or we call function, probability function that we really want because it establishes the relationship between what? Y, right? Y equal to one here. And x beta, you see that? By a probability function. And this is a generic cumulative density function. So it is a probability function. And um, to be very precise, this is a cumulative density uh, function, not exactly probability function, but somehow we have linked uh, y, the observed y with x beta through y star. See that? And that's the reason why we want to introduce the idea of y star. Okay, and uh, what's next? Well, next is to apply maximum likelihood estimation. And here, uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, talk about how to apply maximum likelihood estimation to uh, this equation here, right? So we just derived this equation, right? In our last slide. <clears throat> and uh, We've linked y with y star and then x beta through a probability function. So we established relationship between y, the observed y, and x beta through y star okay? uh, using a probability function. Then roughly, we want to know what is the probability of observing the data. So here I use uh, beta tilde, uh, excuse me, uh, p tilde. Uh, to denote something uh, is, is pretty similar to probability, but not exactly. But at this point, okay, let's say we want to know the probability of observing the data. Well, what is the probability of observing data? Well, assuming IID, that is, assuming independent and identical uh, distributions for the error. And accordingly, for cases in the data file. Then the probability of observing the data is the product of observing each data point using uh, this multiplication rule in probability. Okay. And this quasi probability of observing data. So, cause I just said, well, this is not a real probability. Why? Because we don't know some of the parameters, right? We don't know some of the parameters. It, it is actually what we call likelihood. So in mathematical uh, term, statistical term, uh, clear and precise, that's a likelihood, likelihood. So we get this likelihood. This likelihood is a product of all this individual probability. So P1 is the probability of observing the first data point, a given X and probability beta, right? So what's next? Well, L is a, is a function of X beta. Yeah. Why? Because L is a product of this individual probability. And what are this individual probability? Well, actually the probability Y equal to one for the first case is a function of this, right? A function of X beta. Uh, the, the only problem we have is we don't know that function yet. So we're gonna do we're gonna make assumption about that cumulative density function. Next is because this function L is mathematically intractable, because it's a product. It's hard to uh, kind of do much about it. So what we do, we take a natural log of L. So it becomes LL, usually when you see LL in a statistical test. Uh, especially statistical test about categorical data analysis, usually it refers to log likelihood. Well, 
if we take a natural log of L, then the function becomes more tractable. Okay? That is, once we take a log of this function, one of nice feature about log is that it turns what? Well, multiplication into addition. Okay? So it becomes a summation of something. And this is much more tractable than multiplication. Then what we're going to do, we're going to solve for uh, the maximum likelihood estimate of beta hat. This ML estimator, ML estimator that might maximizes the log likelihood function. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna establish a relationship uh, between the probability of observing data and X beta, right? Through this equation. Uh, and by making a couple of assumptions, right? You know, here is, you know, basically the probability of observing the data is a product of this individual probabilities. It is the probabilities of observing individual cases, assuming there is no correlation among these cases, which is a strong assumption. Now, once we establish that, that function, okay? Once we establish that function, right? Take, after taking a natural log, then we can use calculus actually to find the maximum likelihood estimator that maximizes the likelihood function, actually log likelihood function, uh, because the log likelihood function is a monotonic increasing function. So maximizing log likelihood is equivalent of maximizing the likelihood. Okay. So the only thing that's missing, only piece of, of of uh, step, the only step that's missing, or the only piece of information that's missing is how to carry out this maximum likelihood estimation. Okay, and once we uh, uh, perform that uh, procedure, right, we can find the maximum likelihood estimator, beta hat. Beta hat. 